Can I ask you a question? Sure. What would you say was the first time you realized you liked Nanny? The first time. It was at our high school. I was a senior and she was a sophomore. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was pledging for a sorority. And they had her walk down the campus. And they kept yelling at her, stop, stop shaking it, stop shaking it. She wasn't trying to shake it, she just had automatically shakes. <laughs> and the, the girls that were yelling there were very brainy girls. Mm -hmm. Not very nice. Right. So was it her niceness or her posterior derriere? <laughs> <laughs> well. Some of both. Yeah, because I thought to myself, who's the nicest girl I know who's also good looking? And I thought of her. About sums her up. When did, when did you know that you were going to marry her? When I picked her up from a sorority meeting, she said, my dad brought home some rings from the jewelry shop. You want to look at them? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like um, how Taylor ended up buying, buying a ring for me. Hey, my dad's coming down to take your ring shopping. <laughs> is, that, is that the way it was? Pretty much. <laughs> well, it shows that personality is very strong in this family with the women. We know what we want. Well, all, all your kids are very unique. With their own personalities. Mm-hmm. That's the way it ought to be. Mm, I agree. You know who reminds me a lot of Nanny? Who? Is, is Autumn. Very strong in her convictions and still kind. No, well, that's true. If you don't mind me asking you another question. If you were to counsel, say, Taylor and I, for before we were going to get married, we hire you as our pastor, and you probably require a couple of premarital counseling sessions, correct? What would you tell us? I think the main thing in marriage is the honor. Marriage is honorable, according to Hebrews. Marriage is honorable, the bid is undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So the, the thing about marriage is honor. I think it's been lost in America. Mm -hmm. People don't treat each other with honor, no. put each other down. Would you, Is do you think honor embodies respect? Sure. So like, it's, it's hard to de decipher the the difference between the two. I guess when I think respect, I'm, you know, paying attention to your your needs and your boundaries and treating you the way you want to be treated. And then honor is respect tied in with love. That's good. That's very good. Because you can respect somebody and not necessarily love them, you know, or like them very much. But honor, you're choosing to respect somebody with your heart. That's very good, too. Thank you. What do you wish you knew before you got married? I was thinking of another thing. Wives, <laughs> not popular. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. The husband is the head of the wife. Christ is the head of the husband. Mm hmm the key scripture for a man is in uh, 1 Peter 3, 7. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. He gave himself for her. Well, that's Ephesians 5. 
husbands, dwell with your wife according to the knowledge. Give her honor as a weaker vessel. Enjoy the grace of life with her, or else your prayers are going to be hindered. Hmm. Whoa. When I first saw that, I thought, what? Your happiness is directly linked to the respect you oh, give your wife? Oh, my. Yeah, directly. And when a, when a fight comes up, or an argument or a misunderstanding, don't forget honor. I think honor is a key thing. Marriage is honorable. In other words, to, to an exaggeration point, when Taylor walks in the room, you ought to be going, oh, whoa. <laughs> when you walk in the room, you ought to be going, oh, whoa. And just, oh, you take my breath away, baby. <laughs> I think most of the most days, it's how we how we feel. You know what, Karen? You know, I think the whole honor thing. Karen always says this thing about marriage. And my dad told Taylor this when they went together the other day, that marriage, you have to love the person, but there'll be times when you don't feel like caring anymore, and that's when you have to care more. Oh, that's good. Is care when you don't want to care anymore. And that, I think, is... And my dad said, if you learn to care when you don't want to care anymore, then you've basically beaten half the battle. You really need the Lord's help to, do, to be able to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I think you and Nanny have always been friends. And that your friendship, you know, even when things are hard, I see you guys, you enjoy each other's time. It's not just that you're, because the, the in love romance feelings are up and down, you know. But I see that you you guys have always remained to be each other's friend. Yeah, that's true. Friendship. Mm -hmm. I want to know when she first thought she was going to marry you. I mean, I guess... How long were you dating her before she told you you were going to look at some rings? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, about a year or two. Okay. I guess she paid her... I mean, you did make her sit through a... Baseball game that went how many innings? <laughs> 21. Just to set the story straight, I did not tell my father to bring rings home. My father told me, I'll be bringing some rings home tonight for, for you and Dick to look at. And what am I going to say to my dad? Well, dad, I don't know if I'm really going to marry him or not, you know? <laughs> because you know what? I, I, neither one of us were like, you, you need to be 100% sure. Yeah. You know, but only thing I did was I prayed when, what, as a kid that when I got married, I'd never get divorced. Mm. I thought, and I didn't know Jesus, but I believed in God, you know, I never went to church or anything. But that was my prayer because looking through a divorce. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> and I was older even. And so I would pray that. And so how am I going to know? Okay, I'm going to marry him. I knew I loved him, but did I... You know, did we love each other enough to last forever together? Because we both dated a lot. That's what she did in the 50s. Oh. So, you know. Man about town and lady well, of the night. Right. We, <laughs> I, I didn't sleep with him, but no, you know, we did date. Yeah. And, um, huh, honey? Little sock hoppers. You were a little scared. You broke out in a sweat when you were trying to say the vows. I started laughing. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to be giggling. Because I it's awful. I laugh. The most holy time, <laughs> the most holy time of your life. You're standing there, pledging your troth to this person. <laughs> and then, well, oh, because when I get in trouble with you that, laugh. I I do too. Well, you inherited it, baby. No, he. Well, it's. I've had to explain to Taylor many times. So I'm I like, know. I'm, I don't think you're funny, no, and I don't think this I, is funny. I, I, but I'm so uncomfortable. Yeah. Right, honey. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, he'd get mad. He'd, get, he'd just get mad. And when Papa got mad in those days, it was not a pretty sight. No. I think that you were always cool as a cucumber. Yeah, right. Sweet and bad, as candy. Had a bad temper. You didn't have a bad temper. You had a violent temper. I did. So. What, what, is, what do you think, like, your favorite... 
thing about about Nanny is. I mean, she's kind. She is kind. What's your least favorite? Well, aside from being perfect, practically perfect in every way. <laughs> yeah, how do you compete with a perfect woman, right? <laughs> I don't have any complaints. And if I did, I probably wouldn't say. Well, this is a man who's been taught well in marriage, then. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so, you have some awesome kids. I'm really thankful for our kids. Yeah. I, I made a prayer list last night. Yeah. And then underneath their names, let me grab the list. Okay. <laughs> he'd get up, if, I mean, we didn't have sweet cereal very often, but if we had a box, he'd be up at the crack of dawn, then I'd hear the rest of them screaming because Jeff had eaten it all. <laughs> yeah. True story, huh, honey? He filled out our milkman's list. Oh, gosh. He checked chocolate. He didn't even milk. read yet. <laughs> But you could read chocolate. I kept getting mad at the milkman. What are you leaving me all this stuff for? You get fruit punch, chocolate. And, I mean, <laughs> I get so mad. And poor milkman, you know, it wasn't his fault. So. He didn't know he was dealing with the childhood con artists. Yeah. Okay, lovies. Love you guys. Have fun at yoga. Yeah. 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 Hey, honey. We'll see. Yeah. If, you yeah, start, if you start to get out of breath, just take it easy. Up, you two. He made a joke. Like I don't see either one of you joining me. We weren't invited. Did you get invited to yoga? <laughs> if you would have come to church, you would have got invited. Well, actually, it was a ladies' bread brunch. Thing. Did you tell Tiffy where we're going to church now? Mm -hmm. Talk to her. I gotta go. Love you. Love you Bye. Both. Kind words from your grandmother. Sam, Ben, Nick, Laura, Casey, Cash. Vanessa, Mike, Jordan, Rose, Dominic, Peter, Lisa, Michael, Rolf, Anita, Tiffany, Taylor. See, 18 people on that side. <clears throat> you mean I can ask the Lord for anything and you'll, you'll give me anything? What do I know? Lord, give me desires to, to desire. Mm -hmm. Because I'm aware that I'm, uh, I live in flesh. I could desire something that would not be in my best interest. Right. But God knows what I should, de what I should desire. Who yeah. I should desire. Mostly Him. Yeah. Peter says you gave him the best advice ever. Which is that you told him to court your wife for life. That's a very important thing. And he says he still dates her. Good for him. Tell him I'm proud of him. Yeah, he says you. I he's... called him up the night he got shot, shot at. Peter, man, I'm glad you're alive. You know, there's a Bible verse that says that Jesus came to give life, life more abundantly. The devil comes to rob, steal, and destroy. The enemy, your enemy, tried to kill you that night, but God said no. I mean, that, that gun was. Yeah. I missed him by a hair. Yeah. Yeah. You've given a lot of people really solid advice throughout the years. I bet there's a lot of very healthy marriages because of you and Annie. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Do you, is there anything that, like, as a parent, that you wish you did differently? Well, your dad was... Uh... Probably about five years old before I started taking the family to church. Mm. I wish I had taken them to church from the very get-go. Once we started, we were we were faithful. But uh, yeah, you know, you can you, you can just get out of the habit of going, and I did for a while. I used to read the encyclopedia to Jeff. Grandpa Kemp was amazed at his brilliance. 
You know all the dinosaurs' names. Those are big words. Mm-hmm. And to this day, any topic you want to discuss with your dad. You'll know. I, I always say I don't have to do a Google search. I'll just do a Jeff search. <laughs> I like that. Like, you don't know how many times yeah. I've called my dad and asked. You know, I sent these flowers right here. I didn't know what those were. I took a picture of it and I sent them to my dad. And within two seconds, he's like, those are mums. Also known as blah, 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 blah. And told me everything about yeah you know, about mums, and, you know, my dad also knows every, almost every plant and flower and, and he tree. he likes birds. And he loves birds. But... And he loves Buster, and Buster's a mess without your dad. Yeah. Oh, man. Karen told me one night when he was on a business trip, he kept, Buster kept her awake all night. She couldn't go to work the next No, day. he was, he's a, when he's distraught, he's inconsolable. Can I get you some more meatloaf? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, I heard somebody say once that being a successful parent is call causing the least amount of damage possible. <laughs> That's <laughs> well said. I think there's no way there's no way to do it perfectly. And regarding raising teenage kids. Dr. James Dobson, who's a Christian psychologist, years ago I heard him say, just get him through those teenage years. Just get him through those years. Yeah. Yeah, because it's easy to come up with formulas, but all formulas don't fit all kids. No. It's all trial and error, right? Pretty much. Did I get you anything? Uh, mm -hmm. No, I'm okay, honey. I think Taylor's probably home. So I should probably go see what he's up to. Bless Taylor Jesus as he's probably home. Bless Tiffy as she goes to minister to him. Treat him like a woman and treat him with respect and treat him with love. Help him to see it, to respond to it, to really treat Tiffany good all the days of their lives. Help him to have the courage that he needs to have in every situation. Thank you so much for protecting him in that accident and Jeff. Bless Tiffy tonight in Jesus' name, amen. All right, love you, Papa. Love you, baby. I'm gonna give you a hug. Well, I love you so much. I love you too. Bless you real good. Wanna take a period with you?